Welcome to Texas Truck Channel. I'm Craig and behind me I've got the all new 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro X. This is the D41 platform which has been 17 years in the making from the D40 platform that came out in 2005. And with all new, I mean all new, we get 3.8 liter V6 under the hood paired to a nine speed transmission co-developed with Mercedes and we'll get into the details of that in our full review so stay tuned for that. But exterior wise, they've redone all the sheet metal. It's all new and it looks great. I think they've done a good job making this a little more muscular. There's bulges in the, in the hood. The front end looks more aggressive, even in the more European version, the Navarro. You get the new Nissan logo with a red outline, which looks really good. Got a little black square box here, which means we get the radar cruise control, which works well. And most importantly, we get red tow hooks. Try that, Tundra. So that's pretty nice. Um, Moving on around, this, before we get to the side, you get a nice LED trip treatment on the, there it is right there, it looks really good. And it looks good at daytime running lights look well. This particular trim comes with fog lights, which is nice. You get a fake inlet there, which maybe some people would be mad at it's fake, but I think it looks good with the styling and it works. Moving along, we get an interesting, we're starting to see some more cars. The profile of the hood kind of overlaps and we're seeing that on more and more vehicles and that's an interesting thing to see. Wheel wells, get a wheel well liner in this particular trim, and I think it looks well with this, with, wrapped in some nice wheels, 17 inch, 265, 70, 17s, 17s. These are Hankook Dyna Pro AT2s, and they look good, and would look good on an old D40 too, I'm just saying. Coming around the side, we'd get the 360 camera view with this. Nissan's had that out for a while, they put that in the Armada first. It works here as well. It works exactly the same as it did in the Armada when it came out, so. Also, Brian, we get side steps because this thing is so tall, well, not really, but these are optional side steps. You can take these off so that they don't protrude as much and it's more like a rock rail, which might be the way to go, at least in the two-wheel drive version, and that's what this is, a two-wheel drive version. So, Moving on back, we got all the options on this bad boy. We get this little uh, bed rail thing, whatever this is. What this is for, Brian, is this is to really help you in a rollover situation. So. We're told it might work there, it may not, I don't know. But it's an optional accessory you can put on any Frontier, bolts right on on the inside, which is pretty neat, which attaches to the track rail system, with, which works. Most importantly, Brian, you see this, this sticker here? This Pro X means, well, it means you can get mud on it. That's so, that's why we've got mud here, and uh, it worked out quite well. So, good job, Nissan. Let's come around the back, we get the color molded bumper here, one piece, and then, because this is so tall, you also get a step to help you get in the dampened tailgate. And if that's not enough, you get the handle to assist you to get in. So that's pretty cool. In the back here, we get the tie downs that move around that you can put position in any spot. You can, meet, you can even move this in a different position. It was up front when we got it. And you even can put them up front to tie down things up front. On this side, we even get an outlet, probably a 400 watt unit, I would bet. I can't read it from here, but it, yes, it's a 400 watt. So there you go, you can plug I don't know, maybe LED lights in it, so who knows. This even comes with the tow package. You get a receiver hitch and you get the seven pin and four pin for the lights. And we've actually used this, as you can tell, and it worked quite well. We'll get into that in the full review, but no problems there, it towed just fine. Moving on to the interior of this, this is the rear seat. And I'm hunched over because this is, this is as far back as it goes. It's a very upright seating position. Obviously they do that for packaging and for space. It's just what it is. You're not gonna carry full, four full-size adults back here on a long trip, maybe a short trip. You do get a center armrest though, and that's nice. You don't get that in every mid-size truck, so that's cool. Also, you get split folding bench, and that's nice. This particular one, again, has all the accessories. You get an adventure medic kit, and you get an off-road recovery kit. Looks like a little backpack. That's pretty cool. The best part though is, you got a child seat right here though. You can still access that, and that's, Cool. There's not very many mid-size trucks that have a split rear seat. On to the business portion of this. We get the Fender audio system, which actually sounds quite great in this. Good bass, good highs, pretty good system in this. We, we like it a lot. Um, you only get a tilting steering wheel, not telescoping. So that's a very interesting thing. But everything else in here is up to date and modern. You get good gauges that are analog, an analog tack, an analog speedo with a digital infotainment in the middle. That's what you need. That's what we want in every truck. Please just keep doing that. That works. Get all your buttons up here for the radar cruise control and over here for your media controls and Bluetooth and phone and all that fun stuff. 
Off to the side, it gets a little hard because that's where your tow mode button is. That's where your cargo lamp, your parking sensors, your trash control, really hard to see over there. But once you drive it, you get used to it. It's not a problem. The switch gear, very uh, harkens back to the 2005 and the D40 platform, no change there at all. Plenty of physical controls in the center. You got dual climate control and it works well. Um, you get your heated steering wheel and heated seats. And let me tell you, these work great. A lot of heated steering wheels work just here on the sides. This one works everywhere on the steering wheel and the seats. A lot of seats are just in the bottom. It even gets the back. So very nice place to be in the winter. If you're in a cold climate, this is a good spot. Um, we also get a moonroof in this package and it's good because you have zero headroom issues. It doesn't cut into that. And it's far enough forward, you can actually kind of tell there's a moonroof there when you're driving. A lot of moonroofs are so far back, you can't even tell. Moving on to the center stack, infotainment. Nissan has updated it in all our cars, about 2021 on, and we get that here. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Mainly, Apple CarPlay works, and that's all that matters. Wireless charging down here in the center. Works flawlessly. Every time you drop it in, it just charges. It hasn't matter what case I've had on it. It's worked great, and it holds the bigger phones, so that's nice. Um, cup holders, here's the best part, they hold the big Yeti for my coffee, and that's a good, good thing. So, center console, I've got my nice healthy fruit in here from 7-Eleven, thank you for looking for a sponsor. And uh, that's about it. With that, we'll give you the full review coming soon. Uh, stay tuned for that on Texas Truck Channel, and thanks for watching. Back down she goes. Um, okay, well, let's see here.